black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, controversial, possibly polarizing dish. Hate it or love it, the underdog's on top, you know what I mean? But I love, personally, some deep fried pickles. I was craving the shit out of some deep fried pickles. Now, what you see here is, I did a Mr. Sub video not too long ago, and I found out that they had like the best pickles ever in town that I could ever find. These massive, perfect, all nice and white inside, kosher dills. So I rolled up to the joint, the guys there hooked me up with five. I ate one on the ride home, not gonna lie, and I was doing some testing. Now I wanna do, so I wanna do two styles of fried pickle. I wanna do the, the coins, the, the chips, and then I also wanna do spears and see if it makes a difference at all. But let's get into this. Okay, so we do have to do a little bit of pickle prep, right? We got our mandolin, it's set to the right thickness that we want, not too thick, not too thin, but we're definitely gonna slice off a bunch of these guys, and then we gotta make some spears as well so there we are hooking it up I, these pickles are amazing they're perfect they're just the best and then for this one i just want to do spears we'll see maybe we'll just do into fours i guess yeah i think that'll be have to be how it is just do four nice spears for these guys those will be nice and juicy and fat and perfect so there we go Okay, so pickles are prepped. Two kinds, varietous. All right, in pie crust plate number one, we are going to go in with some flour because we're just gonna dab them off in the flour before we get them in the batter. So we just do a flour in this one first. In pie plate number two, for after we batter them, I have a like Southern fried chicken mix here, basically shake and bake, but knockoff brand. And I'm gonna do half that with like half panko crumb mix. And I think I'm just gonna blend these guys together. Okay, simple batter coming in with a, some flour here. Cup, cup of flour. A little Old Bay for some extra flavor in there, cause why not? And then we're just gonna work in some bubbly water. Basically looking for like a pancake mix. Get your lumps out. Whip it real nice, not too thick, not too thin. All right, that should be good right around there. I'm also wanting a creamy honey dill dipping sauce for these. Yes, I know, dill on dill crime, but trust me. For some reason, a dill dip works the best with deep fried dill pickles. Load her up with a bunch of honey, probably like half and half. We have pickling liquid from the pickles. Just a little bit of brine. Tons of dill weed. Lots and lots and lots in there. Do not be shy. Pinch of salt. Take a taste. And I think we're good there. And now for the super fun part where it gets a little sketchy, the assembly line. So first, you're gonna flour. You can't see me over here, but you gotta flour your guy. Right, just straight up as is into the batter. Wish I had a tiny pair of tongs for this, but I don't. Into the batter, into your crumb. And you just repeat this process. And then you gotta put them over on your tray or your rack, because they need to go into the freezer for a while. Okay, so this is what I was able to yield before I ran out of the crumb. We got six of the coins and we got four of the spears. And so these guys are going to go into the freezer for as long as you really want, but I'm going to just go a few hours, let them set up, and then we're going to fry. I also have some stuff in the fridge that I got to use up, like this last bit of sour cream that I have here before it goes bad. And you guys know I'm a saucy guy, so I want to whip together sort of like a pseudo ranch maybe kind of thing. It's just a, a whip dip. It's not really ranch, but it's something. <laughs> okay, so sour cream, mayo, Parmesan cheese left over. I got fresh spring onion, last little couple sprigs or whatever you want to call it. A little bit of garlic in here. Oh, that's quite a bit. Whoops. Oh, well. Lemon juice, fresh cracked pepper. 
A little bit of that pepperoncini juice, a pinch of salt, and then we whip that. A little more mayo to thicken it. And then we taste. Mmm. That's delicious. Really, really good. All right, so we've got this oil coming in hot at 340 right now for this. I'm going to go in with the big boys first, and we're going to do the chips second. Just a couple minutes. Doesn't take that long, just as long as the outside is crispy. Also, these are a bit of a fail. We'll talk about it in the video, but uh, at least that one's looking decent. <laughs> what? Uh, what have we learned? We learned that the Spears more difficult than Britney's conservatorship. You know what I mean? We learned that the batter can just fall right off. We're still gonna eat these though, because we're not gonna have waste, but we've learned that. Now, that being said, we have at least one decent one, but the spears themselves are very difficult. That's definitely something that we've learned. What else have we learned? That the coins, these are the way to go. Much easier to bread, batter, and deal with. They fry better and the batter stays on them much better. So in a failure experience is also used as a learning experience. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Today's vid is gonna require some transparency. Um, they didn't turn out the way that I thought in my head they would with my methodology. <laughs> is what it is though. There's something to be learned in failure. That's what we have to do in life. We try things and we fail. Weirdest part is that I've actually made these before and they turned out awesome. And I was like, kind of a little bit drunk when I made them that time. This is for the whispering video about the, it's an ASMR video, crunchy things, alcohol, timed alcohol, things like that. I'll talk about that in this video. For Anyways, before we get into that, let's get into this. Fried pickles. Controversial little dish. I think it's like, like I said, hate it or love it. I weirdly love it. Thinking it should be disgusting, but at the same time, it's not. Hot pickles, no. But at the same time, somehow, when they're battered and they're right, yes. Yes, correct. They're awesome. Something about them is awesome. So, our two sauces, makeshift, honey dill, and then we have the chips. Like I said, the chips, you know, not full enclosure either. Should have had mini tongs. Lake Mini Tonka. <laughs> Wow, I'm an idiot. Minnetonka, that's like a native Indian, whatever word, like Lake Minnetonka. You guys know what I mean. Okay, so here's the problem. How did that just happen? All the batter just fell off this. I don't get why. So I'm trying to understand that I think it's moisture based and I think the batter might have been too thick, but with the chips, the chips are good, right? They're good. And also, you know, this one spear worked, right? So I don't know what, but it is what it is. They're still gonna be delicious. Either way, let's go in for a dip and a bite on one of the ones that worked. This is me, uh, once again, probably like menu, t menu testing, trying to figure things out for the future. But I know this is gonna be good. Mm. Falling apart. Mm. Flavors though, so on point, so good. Just eat some breading and dip. Why not? Mm. This sauce. As random as it was. 
banger. Absolute banger. Okay, so the pickle chips in the creamy honey honey dill. All right. Let's see what this see what this does for us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. You would think that the sweetness and the vinegar and everything wouldn't work, but it does. You would think, but it does. All right. So what have I learned in this video? Clearly this is a moisture issue, I would imagine. So you'd have to figure that out. Clearly the uh, the chips are the way to go. And honestly, I think if you're if you're selling, like let's say I'm gonna like sell something like this as a, as like a side. I do believe for someone on the fly on the go that the more portable um, style, <clears throat> almost chicken nugget esque fried pickle, no, is the way to go in terms of uh, mm, wow. terms of portability and bite size convenience. It's a better way. That being said, the reason I wanted to do spears was one of my, one of my local pizza chains, Pizza Pizza, has amazing uh, deep fried pickles and they do them in spears and they do seemingly hold together quite well that being said as I recall it they also tend to have a Pulling of the shell, if you will. Also, a wire rack is not preferred, is what I also learned, because it does that. It leaves those indentations and pushes through the, uh, the coating. So, though delicious, though the pickles are amazing, though the batter is actually great, I fail. in the sense of togetherness remaining as a unit. This is going to take some finesse to figure out. Is it worth figuring out? I think so, because I personally love a deep fried pickle with a good sauce. All right, still enjoyable, though kind of a, a semi-fail, 50-50. 
make the chips, the coins, whatever you want to call them. That's where it's at. Less moisture to contend with, I think, is the lesson learned here. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.